Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys, if you're interested in how to build your own game screen. Um, in particular, I am looking to get back into Dungeons and Dragons after many a long time, or many many years. And um, I've never DM'd a game before, and so I thought if I'm going to do that, I'm probably going to need to have a game screen. And so I went out and I bought the starter kit, the 5e starter kit with the Lost Mine of Fandelver campaign, which I heard was very good for a beginner. So that's what I decided. And then I thought if I'm going to do a DM or be a DM for uh, the game, I'm going to need a game screen. And so I, that's what I did. I went out to the hobby store and bought a game screen. This is the only one they had. Um, it's a Dungeons and Dragons game screen. But as you can tell already, it's specific to Storm King's Thunder. And so I thought, well, what's the what's the big deal? You know, aren't all game screens the same? They are not. This is particular in um, to the Storm King's Thunder campaign. So there's a lot of very specific information about the monsters and encounters that you'll um, experience in the campaign. And in the middle of the screen is this huge-ass map that takes up two panels, <laughs> which is a lot of wasted space, I think. Um, it's a beautiful map, however. I mean, all the artwork is, is excellent, and the build quality is fantastic. But all this stuff has more to do with the campaign, not necessarily with the game in general, which is my mistake. I should have done a little more research when I bought the game screen. And so probably I might end up either giving this away or selling it or whatever, um, because it probably be more useful for uh, an advanced DM. So I thought, okay, well, why don't I build my own? And that's exactly what I did. Actually, I built two of these. This is the second version. Um, I'll show you the first version after I'm done showing you this one. But basically, what the materials I used here was these uh, were these um, Artist Loft canvases. They're about 12 inches by 9 inches. And as you can see, they're real thin and very, very rigid which is not unlike the material used here in the uh, Dungeons & Dragons one. And then also I bought myself a package of these Office Depot uh, sheet protectors to hold the pictures and uh, stats tables. I used some duct tape for my hinge, uh, and then I used these, uh, these adhesive, they're called Zots, you can get them at Michael's, and uh, to affix the sheet protectors to the panels. Let's move this out of the way. So, um, here's the, the outside. I put some artwork in here. Lost Mine of Fandelver artwork from the starter kit. Um, and I'm going to open it up here. And I like this particular layout better than my first one. My first one was more of a portrait style layout um, with regards to the sheet of paper. So it was very tall. This one is not quite as tall, so I'm not going to be hiding behind the screen when I'm running a game for my players. So these stats here that you see here, these are actually found on the internet. I'll link them in the description below the video so you can have them for yourself. Um, this particular set of stats is actually four sheets, or I'm sorry, six sheets. Um, and so there's two sheets that are kind of hiding behind these here. One of them has to do with equipment, and another one has to do with, um, oh, now I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, there's six sheets, so I kind of had to decide, you know, what which one do I want to put here? Um, and I know that I'm not really good yet with understanding all the initiative and combat and all that stuff just yet. I'm, I'm still reading. So that's what I put here. But the nice thing is with these sheets is that I can put whatever I want in here. Uh, so if I change games, if I play, you know, Star Wars, Edge of Rebellion or whatever, I can take these sheets out, put new sheets in, put photos, different pictures on the other side of this if I want to. Um, and that's what really makes this thing way better, I think, than, you know, buying a, a pre-made game screen. Which, again, top-notch quality, but for a beginner like myself, I need to have something that I can customize. So anyway, how the hinges work is uh, I took a piece of white duct tape. Um, I ran it. Um, actually, I had uh, these two like this. I had two panels like this, and I ran it sticky side up on one side, and then I just folded it over to this side, and then I opened this up and then kind of pulled this apart again, these two panels apart, so that the seam um, had a little bit of a gap. Then I took another piece of uh, duct tape, and I stuck it down on this side, and ran my finger down through the seam, and then now I have a hinge. And that was pretty much it. That's really the only duct tape that you need is to create these hinges. Um, my other one, my other 
game screen that I built. Oops, this is the wrong way. I'll show you what I did there. It is substantially larger than, <laughs> than this one, as you can see. And we're talking like an inch or half an inch taller. And so this was foam core. And I did pretty much the same process, but then I put duct tape all around all the edges because foam core is notoriously fragile and can get dinged up pretty badly. And as you can see here, you know, same type of stats, only in you know, kind of that page mode, portrait mode. Um, so I might end up, I might give that to my friend as well, or one of my other friends. Um, this is much more uh, rigid and um, I think can handle a lot more uh, mishandling. And it's obviously more compact. It's obviously it's it's heavier than this one, but I do think I like this one better. I'm probably going to use this one in lieu of this one. So anyway, uh, again, very simple. Uh, it's probably about like nine dollars before using your Michaels coupon for these. They come in packs of five, and again, it's the nine by twelve measurement and sheet protectors, adhesive dots, or some com uh, comparable adhesive material and duct tape. That's pretty much it. So if you guys have any ideas of other tools that are kind of DIY, um, comment below and we'll add them to the list. I think, uh, you know, for anyone who's either on a budget or wants a very customizable game screen, I think this is the way to go. This is definitely, I'm really excited to use this. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Wow, smack. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any comments, like I said, Please uh, add them below.